one fight night 20. Uh, for anybody that's just barely joining us right now, uh, just a friendly reminder. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. goes a long way. If you don't like UFC 299 or you don't like UFC in general, no problem. We cover one as well, right? If you don't like cover everything one, then maybe we cover PFL. You don't like maybe. PFL, maybe we cover boxing. Sometimes. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> one fight night 20, you know. Um, very fun. International Women's Day card. All women's fights on the card. Janet Todd versus Pajija. I love Janet Todd. I might get emotional on this. Just a heads up, y'all. I might get oh, emotional. Oh no, emotional will. Um, <laughs> but hit me with the hit me with the two thumbs down real quick, Ramu. Oh, okay. It, did it work? <laughs> it, was, it, it was supposed to be rain. It's supposed to bring out rain, but it didn't. But whatever. No. Um, okay, maybe there. Hey, we go. there it is. That's how I feel inside after this fight. But um, <laughs> Janet Todd, OG. People say like Pioneer, Trailblazer, all that stuff. It is 100% accurate for Janet Todd. Um, I think she's 38. Uh, she says before the fight, this is my last fight. Uh, win or lose, I'm going to retire. Uh, for a long time, she's got a master's degree in aerospace engineering. She's got a full-time job. The fact that she's done what she's done in fighting while also having a full-time aerospace engineering job is just insane. It's like, it's amazing. oh, yeah. Uh, my side hobby, uh, I picked up belt and kickboxing in Muay Thai. It's like, what? It's just, in it's incredible. Um, but, and you know, Pachija is on the rise, uh, insane Muay Thai fighter who just steamrolls everybody. She just beat the kickboxing goat in Anissa Mexin to get the, uh, I think this, that was to get the interim belt. Janet Todd was out with the, uh, with the, uh, undisputed belt. So this is the unification bout. And you're like, Writing's kind of on the wall, right? 38 years old, aerospace engineer, wants to focus on the family. I'm retiring, win or lose. Pachita's on the rise. She's the young killer. She Most of her career, she was fighting boys because they couldn't match her up with anybody on the on the local scenes. Uh, writing's kind of on the wall of how this is going to go, right? She just beat the goat. Um, and then Janet Todd was like, I don't give a fuck about any of that because I'm game, I'm game for this no matter what. I don't care if I'm retiring after. I don't care if I if I'm the fact that she took it to her. It's the best anybody has ever looked against Pajija that I've seen. I mean, she lost. Uh, she lost the fight. I believe she lost every round. Um, but she was there for it, dude. This was a firefight. She's landing that left hook. It was money. Yeah. What did you the, think about the it? thing that was impressive to me was just both of these women staying calm and composed in the pocket. And being yeah, so willing to trade. And for me, this wasn't the the funnest card, or the most exciting card from beginning to end, right? Mm -hmm. But ending it with this fight, and I was like, holy smokes, this was some high-level stuff, dude. Yeah. High-level stuff. <clears throat> and uh, I just started watching one more recently, right? So I, mm -hmm. I don't know of the history of Miss Janet Todd like you do, Will. Um, but watching her against Pajija, who I've been watching a lot more recently, and I know yeah. more of Pajija than I do of uh, Janet Todd, I was like, man, don't go. Don't, go. <laughs> don't I retire, see Janet Todd, because yeah. I want to see you fight some more, right? And uh, uh, for me, I'm like, damn, that sucks that I missed the so career. much of her career, her entire career, essentially, right? Yeah. Uh, and that, like, I, I felt regret after the fight of like, man, I wish I would have watched Janet Todd sooner, which just says a yeah. lot because, um, she, she had a fantastic fight and for, for me to sit there and say like, man, I should have listened to Will sooner. Oh, I should have picked up one sooner. Uh, Janet Todd made me, uh, made me feel that way, man. So props to Janet Todd. Congratulations on the fantastic career. Uh, Padija is a, a dog, bro. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's let's look at it really quick. I'm gonna put a clip up of the fight. Shout out one for letting us show this footage. Um, but I mean, look at this. Look at them trading in this. Look at and this exchanges. is what I'm saying. In the pocket. I mean, look at this. The knees they're mixing in. The left hook from Janet Todd there. And she just says, "Bring it. Come on, let's go." Yeah. I mean, just I could watch this all goddamn day. It's so good. Oh, that knee from Janet Todd. The knee from Pajita didn't return the left hook off the kick. It was sick, dude. It was ah, sick. Man. So um, good. I think we saw a comment that popped up for a second, Rich. Uh, that was uh, someone asked about Pajita. Jetsuya? 
Shout out Tetsuya. Do you guys think Pajija is number one pound for pound female striker right now? Yeah, I do. You know, um, I mean, beating Anissa Mexican and then Janet, Janet Todd. And MLB all of say, uh, female MMA? Well, female striking. I mean, kickboxing, Muay Thai, I think uh, striker, pound for pound striker. <laughs> 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 um, but, you know, uh, you might say, people might say, look, yeah, she beat Janet Todd, but it was 38 year old Janet Todd who was retiring no matter what. But that's not the Janet Todd that was in there. That's a disservice to this win, in my opinion, because this was not an easy out for Pajija. She won every round. She ended up dropping her. It was a cool fit. The way she dropped her was cool. But actually, let's watch it real quick. The way she dropped her was sick. Ooh. This should show it, I think. Hopefully Did it just show her getting dropped and not yeah, what actually not caused her to get drop. dropped? Oh, no. Bam. Oh, I mean, yeah. Sick, dude. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Janet Todd got a little lazy there. It's fifth round. They're probably exhausted, right? Um, but she throws a, a kind of a lazy high kick and then bam. As she's sick. turning, she just catches that right hook. Yeah. Um, and, and the right hand for Pajija was money the entire fight. Um, and, you know, she really just forced Janet to fight off, off her back foot, which Janet did do a good job of, like I said, landing that left hook, things like that. But, um, yeah, it wasn't enough. Pajija's just a young, hungry killer. Um and it was a cool passing of the torch, changing of the guard fight, 100%. And, uh, you know, yeah, she unifies the belt, kickboxing. Um, I mean, Bajija just must, must watch TV. She's like how Mitch striker. was like uh, sitting there picking the confetti off her face <laughs> yeah. right before the interview started, too. <laughs> I was like, great, dude. I'm such a nice guy, dude. I love Mitch. Again, another event where Mitch and Ray on the call just fantastic so good they, they have gotten their chemistry down there was a little bit of a moment when when ray first started uh that you know because he he took over for brent and there was like a little bit of awkwardness they hadn't really felt each other yet maybe and you know they had rich franklin so there's three in the booth and it's a little awkward now that it's just mitch and ray and they've done it a few times fantastic yeah really good work money um and then your boy here uh started crying because janet todd's retirement was beautiful it was mm. it was so well done um when they they were interviewing Pachicha, and I was like, "Please, you have to interview Janet. Don't let her leave. Like, let her have the moment, please." I was just worried that it wasn't gonna gonna happen. Um, but then they call her over, and Mitch asks her about it, and she starts crying, and you're just like, "Ah!" But she's like fighting through it, you know. She's like trying to talk, but like, you, you know, when your face muscles are like not letting you. I mean, look yeah. at that, dude. This is, I mean, just after a great career. Um, and she starts crying. She has to take a break. And I'm just like, no, ah, don't do this to me. <laughs> and then, you know, dude, I, I don't remember what she said, but there was a moment where Mitch, uh, I think he was like, she she was about to take her gloves off or maybe she had already done it. And Mitch was like, do you, is, do you want to? And then she's like, is it time? And I was just like, ah, ah. She's like, is it time now? And she puts her gloves on the ground. Like, fuck, dude. Just a beautiful moment. It was a, it yeah. was a really cool uh, retirement. The fact that she was able to do that off of such a such a fight too, and such a performance. It's not like she got knocked out early or anything crazy, you know. Like good way to still go out though. A really good way to still go out. Yeah. She, look, she, to show she, she still watching got that it. fight. Watching that fight, there's plenty of fights she could be winning. There's oh, yeah. plenty. That's you know? what I'm saying. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> but it was still. it was a very cool moment. Really well done. Uh, yeah. Uh, and the the gift she got chachi too yeah oh look at this picture with the confetti too it's just yeah like, so good man yeah shout out janet todd well done uh by one also yeah and pejija terrifying i don't know what's next for her <laughs> she's so nah, she's good just knocking other people out um yeah. all right man before that we had alicia rodriguez versus christina morales yeah alicia similar to like what we talked about earlier with Piotr jan a lot of the time she starts that first round slow yep. and uh, sometimes that costs her, right? That costs her against uh, Smilla where Smilla was able to do what Sean did to Cheeto kind of, and just overwhelm with overwhelm, volume yeah. to where you could never get going really. Um, that's not to say that Alicia didn't land her own shots against Smilla, but um, Morales, the, clearly that was the, the belts, game plan. man. So good. Yeah. When it's the size <laughs> of their torso. Yeah. <laughs> it's so it's good. Crazy. Um, but you know, you could you could tell that was Morales' game plan, right? She starts slow. I'm gonna overwhelm her. I'm never gonna let her get in a second gear. Um because she came out. Let us, yeah. I ain't never gonna stop throwing punches. <laughs> um and to her credit, she didn't. But that second round, dude, Alicia, 
she made the read and she was like, I'm just going to go body hunting tonight. Um, it was, you know, the, 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 they were similar to what we were talking about with, uh, Benoit Santini and Dustin Poirier. The body kick's not really there when they're in the closed stance. Um, but it is there if you're good off your switch kick. Her lead leg switch kick to the body hits that liver in a closed stance, and it is very good. And she threw it over and over and over again. She threw the switch kick to the body, to the liver. Uh, there's there's like a million pictures I put in here of her landing that kick. Um, there, she The knee to the body, the front kick to the body, uh, right to the liver. And then eventually towards the end of the fight, she starts going with the left hook to the liver, and it was just – body shot after body shot after body shot it was fantastic i think it was like 80 yeah. percent of her strikes were to the body and it's especially crazy. in the fourth round in the fourth round yeah. all the shots to the body just started ramping up like that was her main focus right and to your point mixed it up to the body which was really nice to see uh the post-fight interview uh with her son so good too dude that's what blew my mind i don't know if she has another kid maybe she has two but she took a lot of time off uh, and there's interim belts because she she had a baby, and the kid was like, "I'm like, how? What? When did she have the kid? I feel like that was last year." And the kid's like, "Like, like a toddler <laughs> now." And I'm just like, "Wait, what?" Shouldn't it? I was like, "How? The time is passing too quickly. It's, it's crazy." crazy. Uh, yeah. She also broke her hand, I think, in the first round. Shout out Nick Atkin, I think, reported that, um, which also explains a lot of the kicks to the body. Yeah, uh, right. I also want to pull up. Um, if you guys are not following Nate Latshaw on Twitter, you need to be because he does very cool graphics for striking stats. Um, mm. And let's see. We can, he does real-time striking stats, red versus blue, like as the fight plays out. Um, and check this out. Uh, this is for Alicia versus uh, Morales. Oh. Let me look nice cool little graphs is. there. Alicia's in the red. Look at the 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 slow start from Alicia that just turns into oh. an onslaught from her. Oh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, really cool. He does it for like every fight. If you want to see the Janet Todd one versus Pachija. Shout out Nate. Which Latshaw. also really shows how close fights can be, you know? Yeah. For me, you yeah, give me numbers and I'm really like, cool. whatever. You put it on a graph and I'm like, holy smokes. You put it on a, you put it on an animated graph. It's even better. Oh, that's next level. <laughs> That's the next level stuff right there. Dude, I like it. Awesome. Yeah, Uh, very cool. Anything else for Rodriguez versus Morales before we move on? Uh, No, very good win for uh, Rodriguez. Uh, Really good showing for Morales. Good game plan, and she executed it well. It's just Alicia was just better that night, you know? Fun fight, though. All right. We also had Boonton versus Micheliedo. Jackie. Jackie's my girl. Uh, (laughs) Another one where it was like she's back in this and she needs to start fast, and she started fast. Because another one, uh, one of the things that she was doing really well was because uh, Miklietto, power puncher, she hits hard, she hits like a truck. Um, and there's a couple times where she hit Jackie, and you could see Jackie head wobble, and she's looking off into the rafters, and you're like, Damn, God damn. yeah. But Jackie, the way she, her combinations were so good, the way she was like. She'd be like, bop, 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 and then finish it with this big overarching left hook to finish her combinations. Really cool to see. Uh, this was just a fun banger. It's yeah, fun banger. and, uh, you know, uh, Miklietto, am I pronouncing it correctly, by the way? Yeah. Close enough. Uh, Close enough. Larger fighter, trying to maintain her range, right? You had uh, Jackie trying to close that distance, and Miklietto was catching her with that straight left a lot of times that she was entering, which would yeah. stop jackie in her tracks but i feel like it wasn't until jackie started adding one or two more punches to her combos combos really to finish it up where she started landing that last shot and whenever jackie was landing like i know that you said uh make the a power puncher jackie Jackie seemed to have some more power behind some of those shots that were landing man so i think that's what it came down to right is is who was landing the more damaging shots yeah and, and here's a clip of might actually be this moment here uh from this picture check this out Bam. Oh. But then Jackie's return. But that, that's what I mean, where <laughs> she's kind of looking up at the rafter while she's getting hit. Um, but yeah, Oof. fun, fun fight, dude. Just a just a banger. Another one. All right. And the last one we're one. gonna cover from one fight night 20. We have uh Pui versus Fernandez. Dude. 
I texted you. Uh, you yep. Uh, you probably or oh, we messed up the. Uh, that's my bad. Um, Chinese names, you know, they mix it and then it's backwards and then. But you say it. <laughs> um, but uh, you yeah, Pui, Pui, coming from uh, Friday fights, got a contract to be on the fight nights, and you could tell Mitch. Mitch has like a certain place in his heart for uh, for fighters who make it through Friday fights onto the big show. Um, and you can see he's like happy to see them with their success. And it's really cool to, to listen to him on the commentary for those fighters. Um, and pizza power, you know, Laura Fernandez, she's a dog. She's one, she's one of my fighters to watch and one all the time. Anytime she's in a fight, it's like, this is going to be fun. Um, and ripped, ripped, shredded pizza power. Oh my you know God. What I mean? Um, but it's one of the best nicknames, but, and you saw what what, what uh, Pachija did to her, right? Pachija stopped her early, just yeah. overwhelmed her. And it's like, okay, but she's a dog. And that just really shows you, you know, how good Pachija is. It's not like a knock on Lara. Um, and <laughs> Yuya Pui starts this fight. Like every fight she did on Friday fights, just sprinting at her. And she's like, I'm not going to let you breathe. She said after the fight, she said, yeah, uh, I, I I started wrong in the first round. And I started slow. And like I, I knew at the second round I needed to pick it up. And you're like, slow. What? What are you talking about? It's just... <laughs> I, but but Fernandez did do a good job of of staying reserved and landing shots as she was coming in. Um, but eventually it's like eventually she just got overwhelmed. You know, it's just so much volume coming at her, just absolute tenacity. Watching this, I was like, I know Ramiro's gonna like this chick. She, he's gonna be like, This is awesome. Yeah, I just love the fact that she just takes whatever you give her. She's going to punch you on the yeah. stomach. She'll punch you on your back. She'll punch you yeah. on your arms. She'll just straight on the chest. Anything that she has clear view of, she's like, all right, I'll get a shot off there. Yeah. I'll, I'll, yeah. Uh, which I love. Yeah, dude. Because that means you're just going to be nonstop <laughs> throwing shots. Yeah, you're not waiting to down. pick your shots. You know, it, it was awesome. Yeah, it didn't slow down. Uh, just an absolute gas tank. Uh, just firefight from her. I mean, look at her, dude. So Some of these pictures were so sick, dude. The way she's just screaming at her as she's walking her down, not even walking, running her down to land these shots. And it's just, how do you fight somebody like this? It's terrifying. You know, it's terrifying. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> go ahead. I was going to say, was there uh, any other fights we're going to cover with uh, one fight night? Uh, yeah. Well, I wanted to show too uh, some of the some of the actual footage from this one because it is crazy to see how she just kept coming forward despite what Lara's throwing. Cause like Lara's like landing on her, you know? Yeah. And she's just like one for letting us uh, show the footage. I mean, just crazy. And then it would be cool to see the stat. Actually. I haven't actually seen this, but, um, Oh, here it is. So blue is uh Pui 44 strikes in the first round. She's like, I started slow. (laughs) And then you just see this. Yeah. Wow. I mean, you see the different the differential starts to spread, you know. I mean, wow. just crazy, dude. That is nuts. Insane. <laughs> That's so nuts. Uh, and then I wanted to give a shout out to. Uh, we're not going to cover it too much, but Barbie versus uh, Martina. Martina's my girl. Barbie's fun though, and she was. God, that Ina's like, my talk- girl, dude. Yeah, I mean, she's sick, dude. Uh, that front kick that Martina landed. Um, Oh yeah, she just like shrugged off. She's like, nah. no. I was <laughs> I mean, like, she kind of just shrugged it off because she got kicked in the face, and then she kind of like shook her head a little bit. Like, what was that? Yeah, let's watch it actually. It'll oh be- man, bam! Like, boom. And then she's like, whoa! <laughs> like, <She's see>? like, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, good. But but you know, Martina is one of those girls where she's just all volume two, and I think she got. Uh, uh, I guess says you zombie her, um, and. I think she got too careless with her extended combinations that she was entering mm. with. And Barbie caught her once with that good right hand that sat her down uh, right here. Bam. And you're like, I didn't even see it. And then they, they should have the slow-mo, I think, It was too. wobbly for sure. Bam. It's a good shot, dude. Yep. Right on the temple. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. But, so she fell short. But Ready it's a good learning action, moment. Dude, right away. Yeah. It's a good learning so moment good. for uh, Martina, I think. Uh, that's a fighter to watch, I think, still, despite losing. Um, but, yeah, that's it. We're, we're going to cover awesome. from uh, one. 